Okay, so we are playing round eight. There was some controversy because uh, Dr. Baker quit. But I'm playing the same guy <laughs> as in last round. So let's do the best with that. But it's the mirror, so anything can happen. Maybe Sultai Emissary will uh, be good here. I'll happily trade that with the Death Touch guy. Do I trade here? I have Treasure Cruise. I think I should trade. That's a dead giveaway that I have Treasure Cruise, I think. Farika's Crew seems hard to cast. I think he has Treasure Cruise too. But this will be an interesting trade. Maybe f 6 will give away how close he was to losing on time. But I think he will play faster this time. I'm of course blocking here. I am not happy to play the mirror again, especially not against the same guy. That's super boring. Block it. What do I get? Peel from reality. What's happening? He did voices and my peel from reality, so I got a card out of it. That's pretty sweet. I think. But he's just throwing away cards to get to treasure cruise. But I now have two treasure cruises. So I don't mind that much. And the phoenix will be small here. Read the bones. Well, he's really going for the cruise. There's still... Oh, okay, he can cruise for nothing. And I can't cruise yet. But it's the last cruise that counts, isn't it? Wow, he's drawing cards. This is not good. I want to voice this and my guy here. Uh, maybe I should actually. This will uh, look insane, but I will. And I do want that. So now I can treasure cruise for five. And I think I will. I think it's all about the cruises. This was some aggressive cruising. All right. I think debilitating injury on his rats is uh, really okay.
Where is the match match at? Where the hell is the match at? There. Okay, here comes Gary. But he's not that bad, is he? So I'll debilitating injury his guy. Play my Farika chosen. Sad to miss a land drop here, but I don't. So kill him. Farika chosen. Wilds. I feel like I want to voyage and my freak is chosen again. <laughs> but uh, that must be crazy. Or is it? He is cruising like a boss. But that is his first cruise. And he's not gonna get mine. Yeah, I'll think I'll voice this and my Farika's cure again. <laughs> my Farika's chosen again. Just to be able to cruise. He doesn't have counters in this first game. Here is a disciple. But he's not gonna get anything of value. Because I'm just not gonna show him the cruise. He got the Voyager's End, and I will Voyager's End too, will I? Will I really? He's playing slowly again. Yeah, I think I will. It's crazy, but let's do it. Put on top. Fire cards, so I can sign in blood, and then sign in blood and treasure cruise for one. Well, that seems stupid. I need to have the freakers chosen in play, so I'll treasure cruise for two. This doesn't feel like standard poker. And I play another Farika Chosen. Seems good to me. F6. And F6. Peel looks really bad. I realized why we cyborged out. Farika's cure seems pretty bad too. So another Disciple would suck now, Gary would suck too, but I'll counter that with my own Gary. So my plan next turn is Sign in Blood Gary. And I really hope I don't lose to Gary. Here comes a Gary, yes that's okay. Uh, okay. Signing blood to six. Gary for four. But I. Oh, I can kill a Gary now. With double Farika's cure. That's interesting. He does nine with another Gary. So you could actually just Gary and attack and he wins. Yeah, that was bad play of me. I should have Farika secured. Yeah, what a miss. 
Got too greedy. Wow, that was a giant mistake. Jesus Christ. I thought I was safe because I had a Gary, but of course I wasn't. Damn it, that was unnecessary. Okay, now I had negate, negate. Disdainful stroke, disdainful stroke. And make the graves, and make the graves, disciple. Wow, I really screwed that up. Now I gotta stop tilting all of this out. Sultai Emissary, Skull Hunter. Take out one Freakas Cure, one Chosen, and one more card needs to go, and I think it is Sulta Emissary. I'm gonna lose the Skull Hunter. Okay, realistically, could I have lived if I had? Yeah, of course I could. I had plenty of cards in my hand, I should just have gone for the life total. Bad! Okay, hating myself right now. It sucks to win a meaningless match in the top 8, uh, in the Swiss, and then lose in the top 8. But, on the other hand, I get to go to sleep early. But that's not what I want to do. So this was really critical. I'm winning twice in a row with in the mirror. That's a pretty tall order. <sighs> That's not good at all. And he also has plenty of time this time. Do you want to play first? I'm gonna keep this. Hmm. I'm not gonna play the chosen first. Yes, 18 minutes. Gonna play Black Cat round two. Turn two. We do the famous backwater opening. Play Black Cat. Do I do black cat into black cat now? I'm gonna do divination, then I'm gonna black cat into black cat. It's like playing ace king versus queens. I don't have anything too bad to lose. But now maybe I do. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Actually, my hand is crap right now. I'm flooding bad. Yeah, I got the Disciple of Phoenix for a disdainful stroke. I like it. Except that I'm now really open to his treasure cruise. Yeah, I'm discipling him next round, next turn. And I'm gonna be able to protect my disciple from his disciple. God, I hope he plays a disciple now, actually. Oh, yes. But he might get carriage from the fact that my hand is so bad but now i'm gonna hit his valuable card i'm 
Yeah, so I can't block here. But he did not attack. Got the swamp. Play the disciple. Will it be decisive? Decisive disciple. Oh my god. Double Nyad. I want to take a Nyad, but I'm not sure at all. Did I remember to bring in the Nimbus Nyad? No, I think I forgot because it wasn't in the cyber plan. Oh my god! Yeah, it is too late for me to play magic at these hours. Starting to make stupid mistakes. That's not good for my SPDC future. Uh, this is actually way too late. It's half past 11 now. Doesn't look like he found land, but he is really in a good spot now. You know what would change that? Treasure Cruise would change it. Does he play a Nimbus Knight? That must be a super critical mistake. Or maybe it's not. Mr. Emissary. Now comes a Nimbus Nyad on the Nimbus Nyad. No, it goes on the Disciple of Phoenix. So now I'm going to take five a turn. Got to draw something good. That's not it. Well, almost any draw spell now will help me a lot. And I'm doing three to him a turn, he's doing five to me. Now I can only do two to him. I think I am doomed. He has a three turn clock. And if he has one counter spell, I'm dead. Wow. Well, I'm not gonna give up my disciple, so I'm just gonna attack with these two. Okay, now I actually got another turn, but. This is not working. Seriously not working out. Don't want to lose in the quarterfinal. Especially to a stupid mistake. Okay, I need to stop whining and start thinking. Yeah. Almost any card he draws now will be really good for him. But I do have pretty strong Garys now. And so does he. That's five, right? So I'll be at one life. So I pretty much need a Gary now and I can't treasure cruise into a Gary. And I definitely need to block. 
Now I can actually treasure cruise into a Gary. But I got Swamp. And I have been crushed. Okay. I think I'm going with the full set of Nimbus Nyads. They probably suck against aggro. But I'm doing it. And I'm gone. That's a shame. Thank you for watching.